ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel it is update 1.52 and we're just rolling into more of the introductions to the cars today it's the lancer evo 8 ultimately we're going to take it round what is one of our favorite test tracks which is tokyo expressway 600 pp race no particular skin on this one today. This is just a tuned car, a tuned road car. So we're going to keep it the livery to match those kind of sports road cars, sort of semi-performance cars that are in the race. Let's take a look at the settings. 413 brake horsepower against the target of 600 pp. And we're in at the 600 with sports medium tyres. Fully customizable suspension, everything default, nothing changed. Fully customizable diff, nothing changed. 40 60 on the torque splitter. Aero with 42 on the front, 218 on the rear. That's almost everything. No changes on the fully customizable ECU or the power restrictor. Gearbox set to 270. We're kind of hoping that's where it needs to be. Probably a little bit short. We might have to tweak it. If we do, I'll let you know before we start. I've not done any practice. We're going to dive straight into this. High RPM turbo, racing into cooler. Racing on the air cleaner, silencer and exhaust manifold. The brake system is also racing, so are the brake pads. Brake controller, put it to three on the front. We've got the racing clutch and fry wheel, the racing carbon prop shaft. All the weight reductions, one, two and three. And the increased body rigidity installed. Let's nip down to the body shop. Custom parts on the front, the Type B. On the side, the Type B. On the rear standard we're not going to put any of the rear bits and pieces on none of those and then we're going to put the rear wing which of course is going to be you all know what it is it's the high type 20. anything else i don't believe roll cage maybe roll cage type c that'll do added nicely and then oh we might get a front grill we do we get a little air scoop on the right hand side or a straight stress truss bar maybe what is that top of an intercooler maybe nothing to do with the calipers that's everything now there is an option to do the wide body but we haven't done it here we are at the tokyo 600 it's the expressway east clockwise for 12 wonderful laps settings today are going to be assist traction control one default abs we're going to have ASM off and count the serious distance on strong. Grinding so it doesn't really matter what we do. I'm on a Fanatec DD Plus GT Extreme wheel. Force, T, force feedback max torque 8. Feedback sensitivity 10. And just as we've got here to the track, we're going to have to change that, uh, that final drive that we talked about. I'm going to put it to 300. Try and give us, no, we'll, we'll go 310, try and give it everything it's got. Dive straight in. There we go then, folks. Fuel map on one. Brake balance on three. I think I might just pull that back. Catch control on one. Hooks litter at 60, 40. So let's chase these boys down. Get into the draft change up a gear see what it can do for us we are just down in front we'd like to get in front of Haywood and Tequila if we can get up to Mr Brady head inside line nicely done Found the line there. We're whipping to a leather place. We're going to see if we can get on the outside here. Catch a couple. There we go. Opportunistic overtakes. Miyazano going to do the same. I think we're going to put him, compromise his line a little bit. Got a tap on the left wheel arch, that wasn't great. I'm not going to be 
able to overtake anybody into this corner, I don't think. Look at him move into the final corner, maybe. As Mr. Blazan starts to hang the back end out there. Blazan and Bouvoir. If can get you in the braking zone. Braking on the 150. You clear that white line on the inside. We got a pass Fraga. Chase down Sus Willow, but he's got the legs on us there. This is good stuff. So, the reason I was trying to win, I was trying to avoid the inside line on the final corner is we've been given a warning from somebody that that might be where we're losing our clean race bonus, is cutting that inside apex. Try and steer clear of it, I've been told, so we're going to try that all race. <laughs> Don't know how successful I'll be. That's quite an overtaking spot, to be honest. We can we can try and overtake people there, but if we put too many to go too far across that white line, we'll lose that clean race bonus. So we just have to keep a little bit reserved. Try not to be so eager into that corner. <coughs> Please excuse me. Horrible cough. drives really well the grip into that corner is tremendous I'm just going to let off the throttle and just let it roll in fourth gear through here see if it'll take it it does beautifully a little bit of a slide front tyre and rear starting to show a little bit of red just Willow's got past his Al just Willow seems to be on a move That was okay, a 2.23. We've been faster. Looking to the left-hand side of the screen there, just beneath Omega, DT Omega, you can see the water depth gauge. The track isn't horrendously wet. Offline it can be. There are puddles. So... We should be able to make our way round. The 4.24 minutes so far. 2.23 out lap. Let's see what lap number two brings. Success Willow puts in a 2.09. This is going to be a 2.14, maybe a 2.13. A 2.12.2, much better than anticipated. So a 2.12.2, we'd like to see this run a 2.09. If that could be at all possible. We're going to have roughly seven more laps. So we'll get nine laps in. We're going to pit at the end of lap nine. If the tyres can hold out. Breaking on the 150. The idea is to try and catch the cars in front by the pit stop. Might have to a little bit of do a bit of racecraft, mightn't we? Ten seconds to Mr. Gallo. Evenly spaced, Gallo in first, so Cookabun in second, Tus Willow third, is out fourth. We're in fifth, Bouvoir sixth, Fraga seventh, Blazan in eighth. I really want to catch his Al on a corner. little change up gonna try and just slide past we do no contact not really shaved any speed we lost 0.3 of a second though so Sus Willow has got past Cookerman there's no holding him back Sus Willow is on the move breaking on the 150 Don't anticipate catching Sus Willow or Cookerburn before the end of this straight. I think that would be a big push. 
Oh, we've made some time there, look. I think this car's well capable of a 209, but I think it's got to shed some weight. It might need better tyres. It's Cookaboom pushing us, will I know he's just dropped back. There's a 211 too. That's another second gone. Just about there for the fuel, I think, for the pit stop. I think we're good. Eyes are looking okay. I think they will get us to the pit stop as we desire. They will certainly be good. The last three laps. 10, 11, 12. See if we can catch Cookabun. Now we're going to have to rely on the shorter fueling for us to catch Sus Willow, I think. We all know this race very, very well, and where this car is slightly slower on top speed, it's got the grip, it's got the handling. It can keep its speed up through the corners, through these twisty bits. What it can't do, it just loses out on the straight line speed, so we're going to have to make use of this short fueling. We only need to take 3.2 laps of fuel when we stop at the end of lap 9. They're all three of us, they're in front of us now. They've been pushing hard. They're going to have to just think about fueling, think about tyres, think about where they're going to go. So Swillow looks like he's about to overtake Gallo. Was I too close to those inside apex lines? I don't know. Are we going to go any faster this lap? Five laps remaining. We will get to the pit stop. We will get to the pit stop with the fuel we've got. That much I do know. 2.11.3s are just slower than our previous best. Just one tenth. Point. 7.0, 7.1 seconds to the leaders. Cookabun, 3.5 seconds ahead. We've got to keep the pressure on. We've got to try and catch Cookabun through the twisty. So let's see where we go. Pull those tyres down. Brake on the 150. Use third gear to get right in there. Just in the blue, just keep it in fourth, see if we can carry some speed. Feel like we're off the gas, but we're catching the look, he's there. Look, the bun is extremely fast down the straights. Just holding back I think oh we just clipped that apex that's not good for us and clipped the exit on the out oh two little dinks with shedding speed gonna break on the 150 we're not gonna cut as much as he has The acceleration is away. Half a second we lost down there. Gallo goes to the pits then. End of lap five. He was on 33% fuel. On the softs. Taking fuel now. Cookabun is away from us. Just Willow in the lead. He is 8.8 .8 seconds ahead and making gains all the time. 
on the 150. smoothly through there, it drives really, really well. Slide up the outside of him this time. Don't think we're going to gain any time here, we're not. 0.6 per second down. Now we're chasing down Suswillow, 6 seconds. We need Cookerbun to slingshot past us for the straight. We need him to do his overtaking thing and give us the opportunity to catch Sus Willow. Here he comes. We're nice and light now. Fuel is coming back to us all the time. The last three laps in the 2.11s. Here we go, into the slipstream. Now we're going to try and use Cookerman to get our top speed up. Sus Willow went to the pits. Hundred and eighty-one. We're going to have to break just a fraction earlier. Did. Front tyres are just still gripping. Trying the overcut on Sis Willow. Sis Willow's down into eighth place, so let's give you a rundown of what the situation is. Cook up in first, he's 0.6 of a second ahead of us. We're in second, we haven't pitted, neither Cook up Fraga's in third, he's yet to pit. Hizal's in fourth, yet to pit. Blazan in fifth, yet to pit. Haywood yet to pit in sixth place. Gallo has pitted in seventh. He's making his way back up the field. Same as Suswillow, he's pitted his one time. Bukabun has given us the race that we asked for. This is a good one. Light brush there. We went to the end of lap seven. There's not a lot in it. We're 15 seconds ahead of Fraga. Hooker's Bunny's giving us the race that we want. Hooker runs away. We've been able to catch him this time. But he's going into the pits this time. He's going to take his pit stop. I don't know whether we should go in this time or just go for it. We've got to take a 5.2, but fuel is going to get us there. Look at them then down to 16%. We're on 21. But he's on the soft tyre, so he's going to find more grip. Braga's gone in. Everybody's gone in. That's going to release Gallo to catch us. Breaking on the 150.
into the game. Asked under that bridge. Once you get that lined up right, you know where to break. You know what the grip feels like when you turn in. You can get it spot on. Same with this one. Really get it lined up. Get it ready. Break to the corner just a fraction. Then plant the throttle when you can see the exit. 25 seconds ahead of Gallo. Front tyres are starting to look a little bit shapely. Should be able to get one more lap out of them. Fuel looks absolutely spot on, 150. Maybe I'm cutting those apexes still too fine. Half a second down on our fastest lap time. Fuel is looking spot on. Twenty-four point five seconds ahead of Cookerbun now. Cookerbun's got back to Gallo. That's tremendous. Where is Sus Willow in all this? Is Sus Willow going to come back to the party? They're catching me just ever so slightly. This is our in lap. Going to get the box, box, box call from the pit crew. Fuel is really, really light. Tyres are really, really spalled. Let's leave them there. Here we go. I'm breathing in heavy. It's uh, quite surprising how much it's taken out of my arms. Front end just washing out just a little bit now. Still fairly quick on that lap time. on the 150 final time before we go to the pits we don't want to forget we've done that before there we go into the pits it's good oh my steering wheel's gone we've got it back that was lucky we just had the cutout on the wheel then. That I thought we were going to go sailing past mediums. We're going to take 3.2 laps of fuel. I'm going to take a little bit of a drink. It's going to be ever so quick, this. It is just a little bit more. Where is Cookaboom going to be? There he goes. So there's the race. Oh, is he going to be too far ahead? Is he going to be too far? Three laps. Gallo's gone to the pits. Cookerburn's got the lead. Five seconds ahead. Oh, this is going to be close. Push the car a little bit too hard. We're going to go for to the brake balance because we can burn these tyres a bit. 
3.3 seconds. This is this is tense. We're 16 seconds ahead of Sus Willow. We've got to see if we're going to keep him behind us. He's going to go extremely quickly. And what we do know is Cookerburn's going to get the run on us down the straight. He is very quick on acceleration. Look at him go. We need to see if this next lap can be a real quickie. We're only three seconds back. It's growing. Gallo is now ahead of Sus Willow, so he's chasing hard. But the outlap was a 2.17. The inlap was a 2.31. We did alright with lap times except for that one in lap six. We lost a second there. But we were regular. 2.11.3s, 2.11.5, 2.11.6. 4.5 seconds behind. seconds back lap 11 this is tight this is close look up and has certainly stepped up his game we need to close in on him To his slipstream. We need to try and make the most of that. On the 150, on the brakes. We might have just given him some motivation there that we didn't need to give him. We can get a good bit of draft down here. We need to try and stay as close to him as we can. We need to be able to defend him all the way to the line. We're good on fuel. There was a 2.10.6.5. I'd really like that to be a 2.09. A 2.09 makes this a good car. Don't know whether we're going to be inside the 27 minutes or whether it's going to be a 26 something or a 27 something. It's going to be close. lights on the brakes just negotiated the car around that corner really need to be overtaking him going under the bridge Cookerbun's put the fastest lap in a 208.696 that's, that's a good lap that's going to make this a challenge for us to get that the line got him under the brakes we've got him there we go now we've got to drive we've got to drive and get away from him we need as much distance now as we can to ensure we can hold him off on the start finish straight oh this is a drive and a half Using those front tyres as well as got 1.5 seconds in the lead from Cookabun. Willow's in third. Gallo's back down to fourth. Oh, it's just going to be a 2.10.5, I think, our lap time. So we're in the lead. Half a lap of fuel spare. Cookerbun in second, 2.6 seconds back. Mr. Sus Willow in third, Gallo fourth, Fraga fifth, Blazan sixth, Grady seventh, and his Al eighth. 
Here we go. We're going to take the win. It's a 2.10.2 by the looks of it. It's a decent lap. Pretty much as close to a 2.09 as we could possibly get that. It's a great little win. It's a great little car. It was a really good race as well. That's got me sweating. It's got me out of breath. That's great. Really enjoyed that. We could do a little bit more with the setup. We know we could, but that, that made it a race. That made it entertaining to me. So Cookerman gets that fastest lap of 2.08.696. And our overall time inside the 27. Makes it a good car, a 26.55. We've got enough time to get another refill on the drink, go to the gents, come back, get into that next race, another half an hour. So the critical thing, folks, did we get that clean race bonus? Did I clear, steer clear of that inside white line on that final corner? No, we didn't do it. Maybe I crossed the line, maybe. We're going to have to deliberately find a way of keeping clear of that. 93.6 million. Wow. There you have it. A great little car. Capable of winning this race. Beating all those semi supercars that are in it. You can see them there as he charges down the straight. Fuel map one all the way. No saving fuel. Does the job beautifully. And for those people that missed the change of gear. We've, uh, just needed to lengthen the gears from the original setup to make that look like it was doing anything but it was a good race i really enjoyed that well folks hope you enjoyed that one too and we'll see what we can bring you next time we've had a few requests and we'll deal with those next we'll see you on the next one all the best take care goodbye for now